So here we want to use the TI-84 calculator to calculate the covariance for a joint distribution for X and Y. So uh, recall that the covariance for uh, the joint distribution of X and Y is defined as basically sum from uh, 1 to M rows, sum from J to N rows, um, Xi minus, well, you can have Xi or uh, mu X, and Yj minus mu Y times uh, probability of X equals to Xi, Y equals to Y. J. Yeah? So that's the joint probability. That's, that's, uh, that's the definition. But how do we enter this or use the TI calculator? Now, first of all, you need to tabulate all uh, pairs, all unique pairs of X and Y into your calculator. So uh, you don't have to do this working here, but I'm just tabulating it for the sake of uh, clarity. So um, X equals to 8, Y equals to 6. Yeah? So and we have x equals to 8, y equals to 7, x equals to 9, y equals to 6, x equals to 9, y equals to 7. Now, for each of these unique pairs, you will then enter into another list, for example, L3, uh, the joint probability distribution, right? So what's the joint probability when x is 8, y is 7, for example? Then you enter 0 0.3. So uh, this is actually quite... Uh, easy the moment you get the idea of what we are trying to do. And uh, one thing to point out is the order doesn't matter. You could start with 9697 first. It, it doesn't matter because we are trying to look at the aggregate. Now, so here, uh, let's very quickly um, enter into our list. We could now uh, use um, L3 as our list of probabilities. So we can enter um, point 0.1 and point 0.3, point 0.4, point 0.2. Yeah? And in our L4, we can enter x, which is uh, 8, 8, 9, 9. And in L5, we can enter our y, which is 6, 7, 6, 7. Okay? So important thing is that uh, they must correspond. That is, uh, when x is 8 and y is 6, the probability is 0.1 because this is exactly what is given to us in the question. So now that we have entered this, uh, we will invoke the calculator's two variable statistics again. But this time round, there's a twist. Our x is now in uh, L4. Uh, that's not yet the twist. Our y is in L5. That's not yet the twist. Our frequency list, that is the twist, and that's stated in L3. And the TI-84 can uh, understand what is meant by a decimal frequency, and it, it is just interpreting it as probability. So now we calculate. By running the calculation, we have asked the calculator to um, perform all the um, statistical calculations for all these variables like x bar, sum x, sum x square, and so on. And again, we're going to make use of um, the uh, calculator-friendly version of the covariance uh, formula for distribution. So P of x, y. Okay. Um, minus of mu x times mu y. Now, because covariance for joint distribution is always about population, we don't really have to worry about sample covariance. It, it just doesn't make sense to say sample covariance for joint distribution. So here, um, our calculator actually already uh, has pre-computed this because the fact that we entered this into L3, right, the, the frequency, um, allows our calculator to... to uh, or rather the algorithm inside automatically ropes in the uh, number of times it, it saw x, i, y, j, and so on. So that, that's the reason why it's called frequency. So uh, in calculator, all we need to do is just call out sum x, y, minus of, and we understand now, right, because your calculator looks at mu x as x bar, 
and uh, well, the minus is also a, an operator, and mu y is y bar. So we just need to run that. So let's run bars five. Uh, call out the summation. Okay, then minus of uh, essentially just x bar times y bar. So uh, two and then five, and that's it, right? So this is the population uh, covariance of the joint distribution, negative 0 0.1 from GC.